Hi everybody, I'm Angie Sharp, the Community Engagement Manager for the City of Bettendorf. It's Monday, December 4th, and tonight kicks off our first set of City Council meetings for the month of December. Hard to believe we're at the end of 2023, right? So let's check out what's on the agenda, shall we? We start with Committee of the Whole, which begins at 5 p.m. tonight. As a reminder, Committee of the Whole allows City Council to dig into and discuss some of the items on their Tuesday regular meeting agenda. So one of those items will be an operational item, a public hearing and resolution regarding the proposed amendment number two to the I-80 Urban Renewal Plan. That discussion will take place with our Assistant City Administrator, Jeff Ryder. Details on this item are on page eight of the Council Packet, which you can find at www.bettendorf.org slash city council. After that discussion, our Community Development Director, Mark Hunt, will explain five different consent agenda items. The first is a resolution approving a site development plan for 6822 Hopewell Avenue. The second is a resolution approving a site development plan for 5235 Competition Drive. The third is a resolution approving a site development plan for Lot 2 FG80 Holdings 4th Edition. The fourth is a resolution setting a public hearing on an ordinance which would amend Title 10, Chapter 4, Building and Development of the Bettendorf City Code entitled Electrical Code and Regulations. And the fifth item that he will discuss is a resolution setting a public hearing on an ordinance that would amend Title 10, Chapter 5, Building and Development of the Bettendorf City Code entitled Mechanical Code and Regulations. After that, Council will discuss any other consent agenda items, which is on page six of the packet and includes 10 items this go around. Then the Mayor and Council have the opportunity to add any items to the agenda. And after that, they're going to go into executive session, which is pursuant to Iowa Code for the purpose of discussing the performance evaluation of our City Attorney, Chris Curran. They'll pick back up tomorrow at 7 p.m. for their regular meeting. After reciting the Pledge of Allegiance and receiving the invocation, we have two recognitions. The first is the presentation of the GFOA Awards, which stands for Government Finance Officers Association. The City of Bettendorf has received three awards from the GFOA. One is for Outstanding Achievement in Popular Annual Financial Reporting. One is Excellence in Financial Reporting and one is for the Distinguished Budget Presentation Awards. So a big congratulations goes out to our finance department. And after that, we have a recognition that goes to all of our city employees for their participation in the Festival of Trees Parade. We won Best Balloon Handler's Costume for our entry of Kermit the Frog. Now after those recognitions, we'll go into public requests of council. This is when anyone can approach the podium and make a request to city council on an item that is not already on the agenda for a public hearing. And we have two of those on the agenda. The first is a public hearing regarding the proposed amendment number two to the I-80 urban renewal plan that was discussed during the Committee of the Whole the night before. After the public hearing, council will vote on that resolution. The second public hearing is about the Heatherstone Road Stream Bank Stabilization Project. Council will then vote on that resolution, which only requires one vote. Then we have three ordinances, which each require three votes on three readings. So the first, item 10, is the second reading of an ordinance that amends the future land use map for Lot 2 Coraline Edition from urban low intensity to community commercial. The second, item 11, is the second reading of an ordinance that amends the zone map, Lot 2, Coraline Edition, R2, Single Family Residence District, to C3, General Business District. The third, item 12, is the third and final reading of an ordinance amending Bettendorf City Code by adding a stop intersection on Genesis Way at Forest Grove Drive and a yield intersection on Cassius Path at Genesis Way. Finally, Council will vote on a resolution awarding the contract and approving the contract and bond for the Family Museum Traveling Gallery renovation. This is a really exciting project that you'll be hearing a lot more about in 2024. Finally, Council will vote on the consent agenda. Then Mayor Bob will go tap, tap, tap with the gavel and adjourn the meeting until our next set, which is December 18th and 19th. Now, if you want to tune into tonight's meeting, you can come right here to City Hall in downtown Bettendorf, or you can watch our live stream from the comfort of your home at www.bettendorf.org slash YouTube.
And of course, to be in the know on all things city news, events, and much, much more, make sure you visit our website, www.bettendorf.org, and look for the big blue box that says, Be in the Know. Have a great day.